so this is problem 4 on uh, resolution and composition of forces go through the problem uh, two forces acting on a body are 500 newton and uh, 1000 newton okay 500 newton and 1000 newton as shown in figure determine the third force f determine the third force f such that resultant of all the three forces is 1000 newton directed at 45 degree to the x axis okay so we have to determine the third force f such that the resultant of third force f 500 newton and 1000 newton will be directed at 1000 newton means it will be 1000 newton uh, directed at 45 degree with the x axis okay so third force f is not given in these problems that we need to uh, assume okay so let f be the third force okay third force which makes an angle theta with the x axis okay so below i'll write the same sentence let solution let f be the third force which makes an angle theta with the x axis as shown in figure as shown in figure now we will write components for all the inclined forces okay for force f for what is the horizontal component it is f cos theta for vertical component is f sin theta and for this 500 newton force horizontal component is 500 cos 30 vertical component is 500 sin 30 and no need to write the components for this resultant force okay that we will write separately in the solution part uh, for uh, 1000 newton force 1000 cos say for this 1000 newton inclination with respect to y axis is given it is given as 30 degree therefore its inclination with the x axis will be how much it will be uh, 90 minus 30 60 degree okay so always while writing the components we should take into consideration of horizontal component not the vertical component means horizontal angle not the vertical angle 1000 cos 30 then so 1000 cos 60 Vertical component is 1000 sin 60. Whenever inclination with respect to vertical is given, find its inclination with respect to horizontal, then only you write the components by considering the horizontal angle. Okay. Now, as per this note, it belongs to case first. Okay. Here you can see resultant is making an angle 45 degree. It is making an angle theta with the x axis so we have two conditions sigma f is equal to r cos theta sigma f equal to r sin theta so here so resultant is making an angle theta that is 45 degree with the x axis 45 degree 45 degree Therefore, sigma fx is equal to 1000 cos 45. Sigma fi is equal to, let me write the conditions, okay. We will separate the values in the uh, later part. Sigma fi is equal to r cos theta equal to r sin theta. Therefore, sigma fx is equal to r cos theta is equal to 1000 cos 45 
so you will get answer as 707.10 newton and sigma fi is equal to i'll write sigma fi is equal to 707.10 newton then sigma fi is equal to r sin theta 1000 sin 45 you will get the same answer that is 707.10 newton so sigma fi is equal to 707.10 newton okay so we have two equations sigma fx equal to 707.10 newton sigma fx equal to 707.10 newton so we will consider each and every equation cover separately and we will find sigma fx and sigma fi using system of forces okay now consider this first condition what is that first condition sigma fx equal to consider consider sigma fx is equal to 707.10 newton now you find sigma fx using system of forces now we have determined sigma fx and sigma fi using resultant force now we will find the sigma fx using system of forces means for using force f 500 newton and 1000 newton f cos theta sum of forces in x direction plus f cos theta then plus 500 cos 30 plus 500 cos 30 then so thou plus 1000 cos 60 don't consider this resultant force okay plus 1000 cos 60 cos 60 is equal to RHS 707.1 therefore F cos theta is equal to you will get it as minus 225.91 you can call this as equation number 1 now I will take second condition sigma f i equal to 707.1 taking sigma fi is equal to 707.10 now you find sigma fi using system of forces again plus f sin theta plus f sin theta then uh, plus 500 sin 30 plus 500 sin 30 then plus 1000 sin 60 plus 1000 sin 60 is equal to 707.10 now you can solve for f sin theta therefore f sin theta is equal to f sin theta is equal to uh, the answer that you get is uh, minus 409 minus 409 you can call this as equation number 2 so by using equation 1 and 2 you can solve for f and theta therefore squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 f square cos square theta plus f square sin square theta is equal to uh, 225.91 square I will ignore the negative sign because when you make it square minus it minus it becomes plus 409 square therefore if you take f square common in the bracket you will get sin square theta plus cos square theta its value is 1 so f square is equal to uh, 218316.5 3 2 ok so taking square root on both sides you will get the value of f that is 467.24 newton 467.24 newton now you can solve for theta by dividing equation 2 by equation 1 equation 2 divided by equation 1 gives f sin theta 
divided by f cos theta is equal to 409 by 225.91 409 by 225.91 therefore f gets cancelled tan theta is equal to 409 by 225.91 therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of 409 by 225.91 if you solve the answer you will get the angle as 61.085 ok so to this we got the value of uh, unknown force f ok and its inclination theta ok this completes the problem thank you